Hey, what's up guys, it's Number One Pred here, and today what I'm bringing you guys is a pretty beast sick bit of news for you guys today in today's commentary. As you guys can tell by the title, the confirmed secret kill streak is called the DNA Bomb. However, in this gameplay I get a pentachem strike, which you guys may be wondering what's going on in the background. Yes, this is a pentachem strike while my controller keeps disconnecting. So let me just quickly change the batteries real quick, find a safe place and change them, and then I'll go ham for the rest of the game. But in this gameplay what's interesting about it is that I do get my first chem strike, obviously, to get the fifth one. So I get my first of the fifth chem strike. I will change my class to a tracker site honey badger and I'll call the chem strike in. Because as you guys know, when the map is like I mean when the when the chem goes off on the map like this, it's awfully, you know, coloured, it's completely orange and misty, and you really, really, really struggle to see. So what I did was take advantage of that and actually use my brain and uh Basically, I use a tracker site. Obviously, a tracker site gives you like an orange highlight, so it would stand out against the mist, so I could just easily see them. As you guys will see in a second, um, you'll see the tracker site in action. And basically, that's what it does, and that really, really, really helped me to get this pen to chem. I really, really should have got a scepter in this game, but there's no point dwelling on the past. This is a really, really old gameplay, so there's not really too much to worry about it. And also, colorblind kind of help, helps with this gameplay, which I'll. Uh, probably enable after this which I did enable after this streak I do reckon but uh, yeah that's basically it for the gameplay hope you guys do enjoy it's a pentachem strike uh, make sure to drop a like rating down below what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is the main part of the video and that is that the DNA bomb is the new chem strike stroke moab kill streak in advanced warfare and on the scale of 1 to 10 guys comment down below how freaking excited you guys are for this DNA bomb and it's oh man I cannot freaking wait I can't seven days to go and I'm on the edge of my seat already so basically what happened behind this all this information being released obviously it wasn't purposely or in you know intended to be released it was actually leaked and what happened is that a guy was streaming advanced warfare which is saying extremely naughty he, shouldn't have, he really shouldn't have done that and I do think he will be facing some uh, facing a bit of trouble with uh, Sledgehammer Games I think they'll probably be banning his Twitch account and disabling his access from the game or something. They'll, do, they'll do something to punish him but uh, basically what he did is he streamed um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. He was only playing private match and you know offline mode because uh, you can't. The servers aren't enabled at this moment in time. They won't be enabled until like a little bit close to the game, like a few days before it actually comes out. And he was basically streaming against bots, what I believe. And he went on obviously a 30 kill streak, uh, not kill streak, 30 gun streak. And he managed to pick up the DNA bomb, which is obviously the elusive secret kill streak. And he called it in and stuff like that. We all got to see gameplay, or whoever watched the stream got to see gameplay, and it it looks really sick. It's basically uh, it comes up as a score streak, it's like one of those hidden ones that pop up when you achieve it, but it won't be there to select or you know be in the bottom corner like faded or whatever until you actually get it. It will pop up when just like the marble or the chem strike when you actually achieve it, and it'll pop up on the screen as well as the nuclear medal would be unstoppables and stuff like that. So my theory with the nuclear stuff, as, as obviously before on the beta version, you could get a nuclear whilst using kill streaks, which uh, which pretty much would have killed pub stomping in my opinion, um, if that was to be the case. But um, what I think is going to be happening is that there will be a nuclear medal available along with the uh, uh, the, the DNA bomb. So that's that's pretty cool actually. I'm pretty you know quite pleased with that because the noobs won't be too focused on the uh, the uh, DNA bomb as much because they'll be going for the nuclear which I think actually caters to a lot of players and I think it will actually increase a lot of sales uh, for advanced warfare uh, basically obviously the more skilled players pub stompers um, like myself obviously and everyone else in Carnage and other clans stuff like that will be able to go for this DNA DNA bomb 30 gun streak with pretty much not, not really a, pr a massive problem but you know obviously for the first days it will struggle a bit because it's all new to us but it'd be something that we'll be aiming ourselves to get but the people who are you know not exactly going for gameplays and just play it casually can go for the nuclear which is all cool because even when you do get it, it won't really affect anyone else and I don't think getting kills for a 
for like a for like a kill streak, a big kill streak, and then it blowing up everyone else in the map is really fair to be honest, because kill streaks would would have done the done most work in my opinion. But uh, when you get the uh, DNA bomb, it will show everyone, and everyone will be able to see that he actually achieved it. And basically, what happens when it goes off as well? It creates like a green sort of smoke. I haven't seen the countdown or anything, or any no one's mentioned about the countdown. I'm not sure if there is one. I'm not sure whether it blows up straight away or whatnot. Somebody can let me know in the comment section down below, please. That'd be sick if you guys could. But basically, what it does once it blows up, it creates like a green sort of misty atmosphere for like a minute. Uh, up to a minute sorry 30 seconds to a minute so it's kind of beneficial that it doesn't stay there for the rest of the game which is useful which I'm glad about at least so um, that's one thing I can be grateful of and yeah that's pretty much it about the uh, DNA bomb I'm really really excited to I have even more motivation to go ham at the start of advanced warfare instead of going for those you know petty nuclear medals so yeah that's basically it for the gameplay hope you guys are pumped comment down below obviously out of 10 what how pumped you are for this dna bomb i'm extremely pumped i would say a 10 out of 10 guys don't forget to hit that like rating down below show your support as always and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel make sure to check out the links in the description as well but anyways have a great day and peace